Hello there, everybody. In this video, we're going to be looking at linear transformations uh, using Python. And we're going to be just doing some basic two-dimensional graphics. So at this point, I'm going to assume that you know what a linear transformation is. You've either read it out of your textbook or you've read it in the lab that you're working on. Um, and you've seen kind of an example of, hey, we're going to build just some sort of triangle. We're going to plot it. And then you've seen what a, um, a matrix linear transformation is for scaling, for rotating, for shearing, that sort of thing. We're going to go through scaling in this particular one. You'll do the rest on your own. So what I have here is a Google Colab document where I've imported NumPy and Plotly graph objects like I normally would just to do most of the work that I would need. My shape is a collection of x values in the first row and y values in the second row. So this is 0, 1 is the first one, 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1. And then I did the first one again so that it actually completes the shape as I plot. And then I go through and build a, a plotly graph of this. And you can see that 0, 1 was indeed the first point, 1, negative 1, negative 1, negative 1, and then it came back to the end. If I left this last one off, I wouldn't have that last line. There. So I have a nice little triangle that I can do transformations to. OK, so if you need to put me on pause to go through this particular code, you can. I'm going to just let you do it. What I really want to show you here is we're going to do a scaling transformation. OK, and we know that a scaling transformation, the matrix that does the transformation is really like an identity matrix. But in the x direction, you've got a certain scalar. In the y direction, you've got a certain scalar. So I would have a matrix that looks like Like this guy. Oops. If I type my LaTeX code correct, there we go. So I want to generate this scaling transformation matrix. So I'm going to do that in a function. And I'm going to call it scale2. It's going to, it's 2 for 2D. It's going to take in the parameters A and B. And I'm going to return the NumPy matrix A comma 0, 0 comma B. OK, so that's really un, like not very exciting, right? So I can run it. Oh, and of course, I did something wrong. What did I do? Oh, I got an extra bracket. Oh, there it is. OK, so it's not very exciting. So I can return. I can do like scale 2 of 4 comma 5, and it returns the matrix for me. That's perfectly fine. I'm just doing this so that I don't have to type all of this every single time. I can actually just call scale 2 on the two parameters I want, and I'll get the proper matrix back. So the interesting thing is that if I want to actually scale my shape, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take S, and I'm going to multiply that by my shape. All right now, my shape was defined up here as a collection of x's and y's. And now, if you notice, I did the x's, as row, x's and y's as rows, uh, because now the matrix multiplication is going to make sense. So if I actually do that, oops, I'm going to do it down here. So I'm going to do scale 4, 5 times my shape and run it. Now the point 0, 1 became 0, 5. Well, let's think about that. I'm going to scale 5 times as far in the y direction. So this point's going to go 5 times as high and 4 times as far in the x direction. So 0 times 4 is 0. So, OK, uh, here, let me, for the sake of clarity, Put that in there. OK, so 0, 1 became 0, 5. 1, negative 1 became 4, negative 5. Negative 1, negative 1 became negative 4, negative 5, and so on. So indeed, it actually did what I wanted to do. But what we're going to do is just make a plot of that. So I'm going to take all of my plotting code from up here. OK, so I'm going to go from my figure all the way down to fig.show, control C to copy. Come down here, control V to paste. OK, and then I'm just going to fig dot add a trace that is a graphic object scatter. Oh, come on. There we go. 
and x equals, now let's see here, I need x equals to be from something, so maybe in here I should just call it like new shape is equal, equal to scale two of four, five, that pulls in the matrix for me, times my shape. So I'm gonna scale this by four in the x, five in the y, so I'm gonna do new shape of row zero every column. Now I would love it if that would work, but it's not going to because that is actually a matrix. Okay, so this is what we would like, but that's actually a matrix. So I'm gonna make that into a NumPy array, right? Which it does, but it does it as a, one, let's see, one by five array. So I'm gonna take the first entry out of there, or the zeroth entry if you speak Python. Okay, so I should have added this trace in here. Now I'm going to do, uh, let's see here. I will say my name is equal to scaled. Let's see what it does. Oh, now four by five was way too big for what I had here. So uh, let's change the scale on my axes. There we go. And there it is. Now it's got the points on it, which is a little bit obnoxious. So I'm gonna say my mode is equal to lines. Okay, and I can see now that everything has gone four units more in the X and five more units more in the Y for every single one of those points. Okay, I'm gonna stop this video here. In the next video, I'm actually gonna show how to animate this process. But in the meantime, you're gonna go build functions very similar to this one, which define rotation matrices and shear matrices. All right, I'll see you in the next video.